Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time um, and this is quite an exciting vlog. So you've probably seen from the title that I have a new horse. I tried him last week. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Maple having a snooze. I tried him last week. Um, I tried a few others. I just fell in love with him. Um, I'll insert some clips of that here. So this was my first ride on Casper when we were trying him. As you can see, he's not very fluent in his contact, but he does try really hard. And once he knows what you're asking, he does try. Um, he's not really got much bending. Um, and he really struggles with canter transitions and just holding a steady canter. Um, so that's some things to work on. But yeah, here are a few clips of when I tried him. how much he struggles with right rein and turning um the corner was a lot tighter than i thought it was going to be and he just he couldn't make it round in canter so we trotted and then had a few side strides of canter and then this is the difference on the left rein it's much nicer although obviously there's a much wider turn i added a couple of clips of the vetting this is him just trotting up um yeah pretty happy and then we did flexion test we do this on all the legs they hold the leg up in the air for a minute and then the horse has to trot off um, and you see if it's still sound which he was and he passed his vetting so there you go <laughs> vetted yesterday and passed um, and hopefully he's coming on Friday it's now Wednesday um, and this afternoon I'm gonna go to Equiboodle which is just down the road and get some stuff that I need I've already got saddle bridle normal stuff but yeah so I'm gonna take you along with me and then we'll see him when he arrives I just got to Equiboodle. I'll do a little video inside because it is amazing. Um, unfortunately, it's raining, but I am going to go and take Casper for a hack because he's literally 20 minutes away from home. Um, well, Sirencester Uni. Um, yeah, so there you go.
So I was actually really restrained. I literally went in and got a breastplate and then I'm there. And that's what I actually came for. Um, got the Shires breastplate. It's just normal three point breastplate, but it has elastic sides. So that's nice. And then just a black number. Numna. Um, yeah. We are out hacking. He's been a very good boy, considering he's only four. And he's just hacking out on his own. He's such a good boy. But yeah, lovely weather. So this is Casper. He's 16 hand, four year old Irish sports horse. Um, he's not really done much at all. Bought over from Ireland a month or two ago, um, where he'd just been backed. That's pretty much it. He's done a few show jumping, um, like gone away to different venues, not competitions. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, but gone away to venues to do some jumping. You're going to smell your poo now. That's nice. Um, yeah, come here. Come back here. Um, yeah, so there's not really much to tell you about him, really. Don't sniff your poo. It's not what people want to see, Casper. But he's very friendly. Good boy. Oh, bye. Yeah, he's fine. He's even got maple in the field with us. He's perfect. And he casps. So this is the next day I came and schooled him. Um, he's really good. He's <laughs> he worries when there's no fence to follow. So like there, he's just it's just not straight. Um, so he needs to work on that. And yeah, we had difficulty picking up the right canter lead again, but it's coming. So hopefully it won't take too long before we can go and do some little dressage shows. Um, I could possibly do some walking trot ones now, but I think. I'll wait till he can just do a prelim um, because he does move very nicely. Here again, you can see he's just wobbling without the uh, fence alongside him, but he's trying. Uh, it's much better than our first attempt, which um, was just a squiggle, really. Um, there you go. There's his speedy canter. Um, I think we'd actually just gone into canter there which is why it was quite so speedy but yeah he does struggle to hold canter so there you go that's casper um he it's now friday he hasn't actually come home because or moved yards because the uni yard was understaffed and so he's gonna move there on sunday instead and then he's going to come close to home at the end of the month when I move out of uni, my uni house. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a few vlogs of our first outings. Um, that's it really.